admitted to Children's Hospital for a five-day video EEG, a sedated MRI, lumbar puncture, and some genetic testing. Lorelei has a variety of seizures and has recently been experiencing losses in her cognitive and physical abilities. At the EEG department, they start by measuring and marking her head to determine where the electrodes will be placed. They then clean each spot before cementing the electrode in place. Once all of the electrodes are in place, the technician puts a hat on Lorelei to keep everything secure and to make it more comfortable for her. Once Laura's all wired up, she's ready to go up to her room. Here you can see the camera that will be recording Lorelei's every move for the next five days, and then, as strange as it seemed, we were waiting and hoping for a seizure. Yeah, there's one. Really? Try again. The nurses checked up on her regularly. Lorelei's favorite part was having her blood pressure taken. Each time, she would make sure the nurse checked the blood pressure on both arms. Once a day, a volunteer would come in to give mom a quick break or time for a shower. It's day two and Lorelei still hasn't had any seizures. We've had limited sleep and her medication has been reduced. To keep busy, Lorelei has been doing schoolwork, coloring, playing, crafting, watching TV, and eating. The food here is pretty good, but Laura's favorite is the ice cream. Is it good? Yeah. Lorelai's niece and nephew, along with their mom, Lorelai's sister-in-law, surprised us with a visit, which helped to pass the time. We were able to borrow toys from the child life worker, which gave Laura something else to do while she sat on her bed, waiting and hoping for a seizure. Day three and still no seizures. We had a visit by a St. John Ambulance volunteer with her therapy dog, which was a huge hit for Lorelai. Cosmo the Clown stopped by, and Laura and Cosmo had a jam session. Day 4, still waiting, limited sleep, reduced meds. More time with the volunteer. Mom gets a shower. Time to take off the electrodes. After
After five days and nights of limited sleep and reduced medication, Lorelai still did not have any seizures. Acetone is used to dissolve the glue to take the electrodes off. Time for a spa treatment, first of many washes to get the glue out. Next up is a sedated MRI and lumbar puncture. Follow us tomorrow to see how these go. Thank you to all the amazing doctors, nurses, volunteers and staff at Children's Hospital.